because I don't like to admit it. But um, basically, I'm going to do Trader Vic's Mai Tai. And I've, I'm a veteran bartender for many years. I guess my whole life I've been making kind of like a Hawaiian-style Mai Tai. Uh, basically, light rum, sour mix, pineapple, a float of Jamaican rum, and then I would do an orange and a cherry. But... Um, Kind of me doing this whole uh, tiki venture is I have an old friend that asked me to do a zombie. Embarrassingly enough, that all these years I've never made a zombie. So of course I look at the recipe, and as I start looking at the recipe, I find out that it's very complex. I start learning about Trader Vic, Don Beach, uh, Mai Tai, zombies. You know all these really cool cocktails that go back like the planner's punch like these cocktails are from the 30s however the mai tai that i'm going to be making for you i believe it's from 1944 uh the guy that did it his name is trader vic and trader vic's recipe is wonderful but nobody makes that style cocktail it's all really interesting i found out so much on youtube of course, like Googling things about the zombie, but getting into videos, uh, you'll have to forgive me because I don't have their names perfectly, but I saw uh, Bruce. Bruce, I like your style. His uh, channel on YouTube is Bar Talk and Cocktail. He's probably 35, year, 35 plus years deep, maybe even 40. Veteran bartender. I like everything that he says and Basically, you can see his talent. He knows what he's talking about. Another guy I saw was Rob's Home Bar. He did, um, I saw them do different cocktails. I saw Rob uh, do a zombie. He did uh, the Mai Tai. I saw Steve, the barman from the UK. Very talented individual. And I kind of, um, from everything I read and what I saw, I really learned a lot. And I actually learned... I don't want to go on and on because they talk about these things, but it's just going to heighten your curiosity that uh, this guy, Trader Vic, um, Don Beach was the one that is uh, known for doing the zombie and that he actually tried to sue Trader Vic with the Mai Tai saying that he stole the drink. Uh, Trader Vic prevailed and he got to keep his Mai Tai and I kind of got lost along the way why it's changed but we know that regionally or sometimes if you don't have an ingredient that you make it your own you know and kind of that's what I'm doing I'm trying to stick to the recipe I'm not being absolutely dedicated to that because like for instance I don't have blue curacao I, I excuse me I don't have orange curacao I do possess blue curacao so for instance what I'm going to use is just triple sec and it's not the end of the world. And things are going to always taste a little bit different if you put your own touch to it. Like uh, for my orgia, some orgias can be really fine, uh, much more, less milky, you know, and they could be really complex. And I'm really pleased with what I made. And so I'm going to kind of just get into it right away. I just wanted to admit that I'm guilty. Sometimes I think I know it all, and you know what, I don't. Many times I think about when I first started bartending, God, almost like 30 years ago, and I don't know his real name, but his name was Booger, and man, he was one of the baddest of the bad. We worked at a really busy uh, sports bar. He had a square bar. We had a very big restaurant. This is in the day when I used to still just wait tables. And this guy was unbelievable. He could handle the whole bar. Very busy restaurant. And I learned a lot from him. And, you know, we learn. We learn. But sometimes we get conditioned that we think. And there's always room for improvement. So, anyways, I'm going to get into it right away. It asks for uh, crushed ice. 
I already have it prepared in the Lewis bag. And I'm gonna copy kind of like the guys, they did it um, this style, and I'm gonna try and be a copycat. So for the dark rum I'm using is Appleton Signature Jamaican Rum. And we're gonna do, I believe it's an ounce and a half. And so I'm gonna do an ounce and a half. And it's nice to experiment with different rums. There's a lot of really good ones. And I love Kasaka. So anyways, we've got an ounce and a half. We're gonna do, it was supposed to be the orange curacao. We're gonna go ahead and use triple sec. And it's a half ounce. Or that was an ounce, excuse me. I was thinking of something else. And then it's all pretty easy. I went ahead and prepared my lime juice already because uh, a signature thing for uh, this cocktail is it's a lime shell and it's supposed to kind of like imitate uh, an umbrella and so you'll see how it looks right now uh, that lime was actually kind of dry so I'm gonna I guess I could add it to here if I need to yeah that's good I think I'm still gonna add just one more squeeze just because I felt like it was kind of dry and then um, what we do is we're gonna add like just a little bit of simple syrup because most of the flavor we're gonna get is from the Borgia. And um, there's so many different ways uh, to make Borgia. You could buy it at the liquor store, you know, like at Total Wine, Devmo, I'm sure there's places that you could order online. It takes a little bit of time, you know, to make it, but it's cool to get familiar with uh, these techniques and that you can make orgias with almonds. This is with an almond orgia. You can make it with hazelnuts, pistachios, walnuts. You can get really creative. But uh, we're gonna do a half ounce. And what's great about orgia is that it adds texture, almost like a little bit of chew to it. it it's uh, really, really wonderful. But anyways, this is it. We just wanna give it a little mix. And then we're gonna serve it right on the crushed ice. And it's actually a really simple cocktail. And I was just surprised because looking into the recipe and finding out about Trader Vic, Don Beach, that I wasn't making a Mai Tai at all. And I mean, in all fairness, it is a Mai Tai, but it's a Hawaiian Mai Tai. It's a convenient Mai Tai. This one's actually um, more limey and then complex with that orange flavor. And uh, to be quite frank, I've never had it before. So this is gonna be my first time. And it's really simple. So we have our crushed pebble ice, and then we're just gonna kind of pour the mix right over. So you can see like if you're ever ordering a Mai Tai and it's red, it's not a Mai Tai. And I never have made a red Mai Tai, but we're accustomed to having the dark rum right on top. So we already have the fresh lime. Everything's in there. Uh, one of the characteristics is fresh lime. And so, you know, just kind of like get those oils out and it's placed right here, right on top in the glass. And it's already looking really nice. Then I have the prepared lime shell. And so you kind of just set it in and it's kind of like a little umbrella. It's actually really, really cute. Uh, with this drink, I'm going to use a recyclable straw. I use different straws, but actually <laughs> making it, like I've always loved uh, making a Mai Tai because there's nothing like looking at the float of the dark rum, but actually this is really attractive. And this is the original Trader Vic's Mai Tai, and I can't wait to taste it. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Mmm, it's very good. I want to just try it. Mm. I am very pleased. The good amount of mint, you know, like when you're drinking it with your lips, it gives you that fragrance. The lime shell I had never used. I didn't think it was going to be as attractive. This is a very good drink. 
So gentlemen that I mentioned earlier, thanks for sharing your techniques and your styles. It's about uh, having things you enjoy, tantalizing our taste buds, and venturing out, trying other things that maybe we're not familiar with because you never know how delicious something can be. So if this is your first time uh, joining my channel, thank you so much. My name is Desi, like my video, subscribe to my channel, and um, you're gonna have to see one of my follow-up videos because my final cocktail I'm gonna be doing is a zombie, and I'm really excited to make it. And you guys have a wonderful evening. Aloha to you.